like Julia. Like Julia. Julia. Yeah, Julia. Yeah, Julia. Well, so I was uh, playing pool with a roommate of mine at a bar. He asked me, should I invite my friend? And I said, yeah. I think that was the first date, probably, when you took me to Domino's, Domino's Pizza. Domino's Pizza, yeah. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't too romantic. And he shows up with like this beautiful lavender bouquet. And I was just like, is that for me? He was like, of course. Like, you know, I love getting, you know, girls flowers. I was living in Copenhagen and he was living in New York. But then he had a show in London. And I was like, might as well just go and meet him. But they have uh, this special, it was two pizzas for one on Tuesday, <laughs> I remember. Uh, I didn't play pool anymore that night, I just talked to him. I charmed him. <laughs> he charmed him. Now my English, it's a little bit better, but on first date, like, we just uh, smile to each other <laughs> and <laughs> mostly don't talk, we just smile, you know. My mom came to New York to meet Danny, and that was a little bit interesting because uh, she asked me to ask him in, you know, in Korean, say why he was dating a Korean girl. And he said, I'm not dating a Korean girl, I'm dating Sunny. You know, I told my mom, hey, I think August should really like get into modeling because he's hot and he looks like a model. And my dad was like, yeah, duh. And so my mom was like, but Titi, are you sure you're comfortable with this? Like, I mean, like, there's gonna be women all over him, you know? Like, you know what I mean, August? There's gonna be women on, like, on you. And he's like, yeah, that's true. It's, it's gonna happen. And I'm like, babe, did you just, do you understand what she's saying? He was like, no. I didn't know what she was saying. I just agreed to it. I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> like, my parents didn't really get it initially. Um, but the more, like, we spent time together and the more serious we got, um, and they realized, like, it was an actual, like, real relationship, then they became very supportive, and they're super supportive now, and they love her. And her parents love me, too. <laughs> yeah, they do. Now it's happening with, uh, with our song, Kong Yong is dinosaur in Korean. It's a cursing word in Spanish, it's coño. <laughs> so sometimes I drop something, you know, typical thing, I break something and I'm like, coño. And then he's like, coño, coño, like <laughs> the dinosaur, where, where, where? I messed up his friend's name once. Um, her name's Federica and her nickname is Fede. And I thought I was gonna be so smooth and use the, the nickname and I accidentally called her Fedada, which actually means pillowcase in Italian. I don't know. That's, the, oh, that's I, I don't know the difference between fun and funny, and he's tried to explain to me every time I say one, either one of the words. But. Well, it's like because fun is like something that is like an activity to do, mm -hmm. but then something that's funny is like ha ha. But then sometimes she'll just say like, but sometimes oh, that was an activity fun. can be fun, ha ha. It had phases at the beginning. I uh, didn't think about anything other than the fact that it was kind of neat and different and, you know, cute or whatever. Um, and then, as that wears off a little, then it can be frustrating whenever you're not understanding each other. And then I feel like you get some tools and tactics with each other to hopefully, you know, kind of know when that's going on and be able to push through it. When we broke up the first time, it was also because we really didn't talk about us. And I think it's because we didn't really know how to say some things. Have we said back then, for example, do you want to be uh, exclusive? Like, do you want to be just dating me instead of, of just, you know, like focusing on one person? We never said that before, you know, and then, yes, like we broke up. Had we had that conversation back then, we probably wouldn't have breaking up, maybe, I guess. In the beginning, I had trouble like using my humor in English because yeah. I had to like find out how to be funny in English. But yeah, I would love to be able to show you my Danish self one day. Yeah. I mean, we know each other so well. Yeah, we uh, do. Like extremely well, but definitely to be able to like I don't know to be like the most yeah to like one like we'll have to like to, to get know to each the other. deepest level yeah. you would have to learn Danish yeah yeah hundred percent yeah yeah I feel like then like I try to explain what I mean but then I get embarrassed because it's like 
not right what I try to say, then I get like a little bit shy and like. Then you stop saying yeah. what you want to say. Yeah, and I stop saying what I want to say. Uh, I think it keeps the relationship actually going and interesting because you never stop learning about each other person and culture too. Uh, so for us, I don't know, I think it has been a, an advantage. So it feels more like home when, when you're communicating or at least having in, in your language, first language, and at least with your partner having all those little jokes or having him a little, uh, at least to understand and get that little Italian, in my case, thing that it's very difficult to translate. <laughs> So me learning Italian helped a little bit, is what you're saying? Yes, that's oh. what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, I've never felt a genuine love ever before from a, an, another man that's not my dad. Um, and that was something that it didn't matter if he you know, started speaking to me in Japanese. It didn't matter about that because it was just something that he's a genuine guy and that overrode every obstacle, you know, because I'm not going to cry. I want to, but I'm not going to cry right now. We're getting married in this fall mm -hmm. and his, his dad is going to marry us. And I'm, I'm so nervous <laughs> yeah, that's when he has funny. to pronounce my full name. It's going to be fun. Funny? Tough. <laughs>